Hey, Passport Kings, what cities in Africa can you find the most beautiful women in the world? That's tough, but today we're going to find out. Engage. Travel is my passion, passion, passion. PassportKings.com Your travel lifestyle will never be the same again. My name is Rockland. I'm a travel advisor. I make Passport Kings videos to inform, review, and excite you about vacation destinations and other travel related information. If this is a topic you like, consider subscribing to Passport Kings and ring the bell so you can be the first to know when I upload new content. Beautiful women are all over Africa. These countdowns are hard to make because putting one place above another can't possibly be based in fact. These are opinions. They're based on my own personal experiences. I'm sure others will have a different opinion and that's okay. If you must give my video a thumbs down, at least write why and give your opinion in the comments section. But of course, I prefer a thumbs up. In all places in the world, you will find women who are beautiful and some that are not so much. When you meet one who is beautiful that strikes you at the soul, you will most likely take note of when and where you were when your eyes were blessed with this phenomenon. With those restrictions already so tight, I'm going to make myself even crazier and narrow this list down to just cities in Africa where to meet the most beautiful chicks alive. Number 10, Kigali, Rwanda. Kigali is the largest city and capital of Rwanda. Rwanda has been a unified state since pre-colonial times, populated by the Banya Rwanda women who share a single language and cultural heritage. The three groups of women you will meet will be Hutu, Tutsi, and Twa. Music and dance are essential parts of Rwanda's ceremonies, celebration, social gatherings, and storytelling. 1994 was a terrible year in Rwanda. The entire state pretty much collapsed. The current government has been patching things back together and the tourism industry is the fastest growing economic resource. The women here are richly melanated and a pleasure to be around. Their hair comes in different lengths. Some is short, flowing downward, and many of them grow hair straight up in the air, reaching for the sun like the trees do. And a lot of them wear weaves. I know a lot of men think women in Africa don't wear weaves. Newsflash, weaves are worn all over the world by all races of women. Number nine, Equatorial Guinea. Religion plays a big part in these women's lives. The Spanish visitors, I say visitors because my video would violate YouTube's policy if I said what they really were. But anyway, the Spanish visitors came to this country and brainwashed the women into Christianity and Roman Catholicism. If you find a woman who is willing to think freely from this madness, you will then get to see how beautiful she really is. Malabo is on Bloco Island, which is right off the coast of Cameroon, Gabon, and larger Equatorial Guinea. If you have the time or money to visit, you will get a chance to see what an authentic exotic islander looks like. And yes, a lot of them wear weeds too. Number eight. Lagos, Nigeria. Man, don't even bother to try to learn a new language to better communicate with the women of Nigeria when you get there. Nigeria is home of 180 million people with 300 different tribes and about 500 different languages. If the Bible story about the Tower of Babel is true, this is obviously where the multiple language mix-up happened, if that was true. To me, Nigerian women look a lot like African Americans. They put the a freak in Africa. They come in all different shades and colors and they are very proud of where they grew up. The main groups of women that you meet will be happy to tell you that their ethnic group is Yoruba, Hausa Fulani, and Igbo. They are very pretty, but as you know, anywhere there is oil, there is trouble because the other nations of the world want to control it. Nigeria is the 12th largest petroleum producer in the world. Number seven, Abidjan, the Ivory Coast. To be honest, one of my customers in my travel business put me onto this city and this country. He was not lying when he said you will absolutely find some of the most beautiful women in this French speaking country. Cote d'Avoir is called the jewel of Africa for many reasons, like the tropical locale, but I'm sure the main reason is these beautiful women. The government abolished polygamy in 1964 and they set the legal marriage age at 18 for boys and 16 for girls, just like it is here in Atlanta, Georgia. Often relaxed in character and very polite, Ivoirians always greet each other and inquire about a person's health, family, or work. It is considered rude to conduct business without first greeting. Make sure you watch the end of the video so you can get my free ebook so you can learn how to make money in the travel industry. And if you haven't yet, subscribe and click the notification bell. 
Number six, Joburg, Johannesburg, South Africa. Johannesburg, South Africa is home to 4.4 million women and men. The rand to dollar ratio is 14 to one. So you will be a baller in Joburg if you make a decent income in America. The women are great cooks and you can get to know them before you even get there. Their Wi-Fi is solid and communication is easy because a lot of them will speak English. Johannesburg is the 28th largest economy in the world and the women thrive with jobs in manufacturing and technology and hospitality services. There are currently a lot of poor South African women, but their society is working very hard to rid itself of the drawbacks that apartheid left. All in all, you will find beauty from all over Africa in Joburg because a lot of these women have left other countries in Africa to come here for a better life. Number five, Mogadishu, Somalia. Mogadishu is not as dangerous as many places in the world, but it is indeed a dangerous place to visit. The population is about 2.5 million people. Although the city is currently in an intense period of reconstruction, visiting it may still be considered extreme travel. These issues still don't take away from how beautiful these women are. But to be smart, you may have to delay your visit and see if you can meet some of them in the USA. If you want to meet Somalian women in America, I've always seen the majority of them in Denver, Colorado. But I'm sure there are other places across the US and Europe where you can come across them. There look is distinct and is beautiful. Number four, Praia, Cape Verde. If it wasn't for the hardships that this country is currently going through, somewhere in Cape Verde would probably win every countdown I produce. These women look like what artists think of when they want to draw a superhero woman. Their shapes and faces are like what Trump calls calling a Ukrainian president to dig up dirt on his political opponent and getting caught. They're perfect. I've discussed their culture on countless other videos and in my Mother Africa playlist. So to find out more about these women, click the link above. And I'm sure people will comment that they were expecting to see a bunch of the darkest skinned women on earth because that's what they envision when they think of Africa. Well, obviously, they need to visit Africa. There's nothing wrong with dark skinned sexy women, but not every African looks like the stereotype that the biased media told you they look like. Get on a plane. Number three, Luanda, Angola. Luanda has the highest annual growth in population and is said to be approaching 9 million residents by 2030. The beautiful women of Brazil has Angola to thank for their phenotypes. The official language of Angola is Portuguese just like in Brazil, but many Angolans are bilingual. Corrupt politicians and countless war has made the city of Luanda hard to even get a chance to meet the beautiful women. If you can though, you will be awestruck. The fighting in Angola is 95% of the time done by male soldiers. So when they finish killing each other, what you're left with is a city full of beautiful women only. Although polygamous marriages are legal and take a lot of these women out of the dating pool, there are still quite a few left that are just looking for a good man. Number two, Accra, Ghana. I've been saying this for quite a few videos lately, but Accra has rolled out the red carpet for black people in America and the Caribbean islands. They understand that many of us are not originally from Ghana, but they are still welcoming us home back to Africa. And with a group of women who look the way the woman in Accra does, we are anxious to go see if Ghana could indeed be our new home. Ghana is another country on the Gold Coast. Ghana was the first country to acquire independence from European rule. The woman will speak English and that makes everything easier for visitors looking for the love of his life. But remember, they are real sticklers for politeness, hospitality, and formality. And number one, Addis Ababa, Ethiopia. Yes, the Horn of Africa wins again. It's just too hard to deny how beautiful the Habesha women are. Go check out the full video I did on Habashas here. The Christians and the Muslims live peacefully together in Addis Ababa, which makes for a safe environment. Differences between the look of Ethiopians and its neighboring countries, I guess can only be seen by a person from the outside looking in. The Eritrean women are pretty much the same as far as looks, but their cultures have minor differences. Many say the map lines are the only things that separate them. The population is expected to be 8 million people by 2040. The gender divisions in urban areas is less pronounced than it is in the countryside. Many women work outside of the home with a greater awareness of gender equality. Women in urban areas are still responsible with or without a career for domestic space. Employment is mostly equivalent, but men tend to be promoted much faster and more often. These women are some of the most beautiful women you will ever meet in Africa. And their career women 
and they're smart and go-getters. And that's my countdown. My question for this week is which cities in Africa would you have put on this list? Also, which cities in America have you found a great concentration of African women? Oh, and one last question. I want to know how much of the Passport King audience believes that us who are designated as African Americans are actually Aboriginal to the Americas. That is a conversation I want to have. And I want all of the information that you were given that makes you believe that. I don't believe in that idea as of now, but I also don't dismiss it. Teach me if you have the info, or dispute it if you know it to be wrong. My opinion is, if you go back far enough, everyone's from one landmass, and even the shapes of the continents make it seem like it all used to be just one. Okay, so you can go to www.passportkings.com to download my free book called Make Money Online So You Can Travel More, and the 2020 edition of that book is on its way. And you will get it for free if you already have the 2019 version. I also know that how a person is willing to treat you is probably more important than how that person looks, but to ignore how beautiful a woman is is mental dodgeball. Bad attitudes doesn't take away the fact that the woman is physically beautiful. Not getting along has nothing to do with eyesight. A lot of times women are beautiful and nice. But men who have had bad experiences with ultra cute girls will prejudge the next beautiful woman that he sees and label her as trouble. And not give these women a chance to show them how some women are beautiful on the inside and the outside. Don't do that. Introduce yourself to every woman who you think is beautiful. She may look incredible and treat you like a king. A passport king. Steve.